According to some brand new reports, Marvel Studios is looking to make a statement with Avengers The Kang Dynasty. And this statement is, nobody is safe, especially heroes that you love. And they will allegedly be permanently killing off one hero in the Kang Dynasty. And the hero is rumored to be Ant-Man because they allegedly scrapped killing him in Quantumania. There were previous reports that Marvel Studios was ready to kill off Ant-Man in Quantumania, but that this was changed due to changing plans of how they wanted to approach the bigger picture and what they wanted to do with Kang beyond just Quantumania. And since they decided to kill off Kang, they didn't also want to kill off Ant-Man, so plans changed. And now according to brand new reports that have hit the net, Kang Dynasty isn't going to have as big or as shocking of an ending as Infinity War, but that's not the goal. Apparently what they want to do is make a statement that Kang, whatever version of him we see here, is not to be messed with by taking out a beloved character. And this is allegedly going to be Ant-Man. He's going to be sort of the adult in charge of what sounds like a bunch of the newer characters that are showing up in the MCU, all making up and comprising the new Avengers. And he is going to be the one that, for lack of a better term, either takes a bullet for them or is the one that the Kangs do go after actively because he defeated Kang the Conqueror in Quantumania. And the Kangs are going to make an example out of their power by essentially uh, right there on the spot in front of all the heroes getting rid of Ant-Man. And uh, that's it. That's going to be Paul Rudd's swan song. And uh, his replacement is already in place. You know, his daughter's stature. And honestly, I could see this happening. Um, Ant-Man has become one of these characters where even if you don't like the films, you love Ant-Man. Paul Rudd has this energy just behind him that you can't hate Paul Rudd. Marvel Studios is willing to kill off beloved characters. Let's not kid ourselves. I mean, they killed off Iron Man. So, yeah, I believe it. Um, I could definitely see this happening, and I believe that they do have to make a pretty major statement in the upcoming film. I don't think they want to kill Thor just yet. Ant-Man, he seems like a disposable one, especially when you can continue the Ant-Man franchise without Ant-Man. You're just going to have to retitle it. So, um, you know, you carry over the franchise in spirit with stature or stinger or whatever they want to call her and you just carry on uh that whole through line and ant-man's officially gone and uh you have cassie take on the mantle of being that type of character the scientific mind and uh somebody that's influenced by her father a legacy character and ant-man already is a legacy character because he carried on from hank pym so i definitely see this um this is one of those reports that i'm like yeah this is the correct choice this is who you kill off